This is Gravity. Both of these teams start the day 0-1 and are looking to end the week with a mark in the win column here. Yeah, and even though TDK are playing with the team that is more than half made up of subs, they still had glimmers of hope in their loss against Team Liquid. Yeah, Bishu got that one versus one kill. Uh, highlight play for himself uh, when Phoenix went a little bit too far. Uh, Seraph, he is actually up in lane over Quas, which is definitely an accomplishment. Quas has had a really, really good weekend. Uh, and then Kez was able to get that first blood wrapped around down to the bottom lane and got that counter gank. Now, but of course, TDK made some big mistakes and were outplayed in a few team fights around the map. Yeah, Gravity, you know, even, even though that TDK was uh, getting outplayed across the map, Gravity, they, on the other side though, they lost a very close game to enemy esports. They were in a position to win, but they struggled with their decision making and were unable to close out the game. Now, Gravity lost a lot of experience when veteran Saint and Cop stepped down, and it may take time for them to rebuild their shot calling. Of course, the split is only one day old, so they still, you know, <laughs> have a lot of time for, uh, for them to work on that element of their game. Literally, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a little bit tough for us to, uh, to give them too much flack for that one. Well, as we throw it over to the desk, Alltech says Gravity can provide him with, an, oh, rather, with all of the resources he needs to improve his individual game. I think on Gravity, there's a lot of room, room for me to grow just because um, I respect Cop a lot as a player. And he, he's an 80 player, so he can help me a lot. And everyone on the team is really chill and everyone's really good at the game as well. So I think the environment's really nice and then there's obviously room to improve every day. Yeah, and I mean, if one thing Gravity had last split, it was a very nice environment for Alltech to kind of enter into. And it is yeah. nice to have the experience of Cop. That was a guy who played in pretty much every single LCS game up until the point where he switched over to be a coach. Probably every single game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was one of, I guess, yeah, yeah. yesterday was the first time he missed an LCS game. So Cop yeah. breaking the streak here. I guess C9 did the same thing with their, their switch over to Incarnation. Either way, let's check out the starting lineups. On the blue side, it's Team Dragon Knights. In the top lane, Seraph. In the jungle is Kez. In the mid is Bishu. And the AD carry is Latman. And the support is Baby. And on the red side, also looking to pick up their first win of the split, it is Gravity with Haunter in the top lane. Move their new jungler, replacing St. Vicious. Keen in the mid lane. Alltech, as we just saw, taking over for Cop on AD Carry. And the ever wonderful Bunny Foo Foo on support. And if you look close enough at the player cams, you can actually see Coach Cop behind them on Gravity as well. He really dressed up well. Yeah. He had like a nice fitting suit, which is difficult to get for like the tall and skinny type people. Mm -hmm. it, he looked good. Props to that one. You know, if you watch the challenger scene enough, there's a lot of songs about looking good. Props to uh, the playlist there on that one. It's mm. probably one of my favorite songs either way. Uh, so yeah, the players are filling into uh, champ. Like it is worth mentioning, by the way. Um, TDK, we're missing a lot of bands. We're gonna we're gonna miss <laughs> four bands this game. So TDK, uh, if you guys missed the announcement yesterday, um, basically filed their roster late as well. They were just too late declaring their substitutes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, or even a valid roster. Sure, sure. I mean, you can boil it down like oversimplified as I was doing, essentially by filing the roster late. They lost all three bans from both yesterday's and today's games. Uh, the gravity penalty, they lose one ban, as I believe it was Keen talking during a pause. Uh, so uh, we're going to get a champ like a minute and a half into it, like once we've missed three of them, and then we'll As soon as the law enforcement the last leaves from within the team, people talk during a pause. <laughs> yeah, right. Suddenly, what is going on with Suddenly rule-breaking when comps aren't there to shut you up. So unfortunately, uh, we'll have to see... What these teams do when you only have two bands in the game, that'll be, I guess, a little bit different. Um, There's a lot of potential for some exciting things in this game uh, from a spectator point of view. Maybe not necessarily from like a really high-quality strategic game, because first off, only two bands. So that completely kind of changes the complexion of the champions we're going to be end up seeing. So a lot of stuff that normally uh, is just straight up band away. On top of that, we have TDK who's playing with three substitutes that they haven't had much practice with. They had a good start, but then kind of a chaotic later game. And Gravity, who are missing a lot of veteran leadership in game. Cop and St. Fitches are missing, and there was kind of a lack of that in their last game, which could end up creating a little bit of chaos in this one, and we could end up getting a very high kill bloody game. Yeah, I think that's pretty likely for us to have a high kill and bloody game here. And the question is then how... You know, can these guys, like, how quickly can these guys learn the shot calling they need, right? What are TDK's goals in the meantime, right? If, if it takes them a while to get their intended starters together, this is a lineup that's going to play like a third or maybe half their split or something. TDK should probably learn to play with this lineup and, and really grow their, their players' shot calling and their, their coordination as fast as possible. Gravity, this is their intended lineup, but, you know, they're, they're kind of just starting now to really put things together. And, Growth, I think, needs to be fast for them. This is, this is the split that leads to Worlds. Yeah, and as the analyst desk was saying during the intro, Kez and Seraph did quite well 
in their game. Absolutely. As, as well as they could do, really. I mean, Seraph on top lane Rumble against a Nar, a Quasas Nar. Quasas Nar obviously ended up carrying the game. Mm -hmm. But CS itself, for a Rumble to hit 200 CS before a Nar uh, is pretty difficult. Yeah. And Seraph was able to do it in that game. Kez as well really had a nice, unique gank path early on in the game uh, to get his bottom, to get himself first blood, uh, actually. So those two, the core TDK members, you could say, yeah. performed well. Yeah, I mean, Kez has been a shot caller for a while. He's one of the big voices back on Complexity way back in the day, and, and the team was sort of built almost by Seraph himself. Like, those are the two guys who definitely matter a whole lot as far as one goes, so we'll see how their leadership can bring the rest of TDK together in this one. And the rest of the in the rest of the individual contributions, I guess, are going to be interesting to watch. Bishu, I, you know, he had that really cool big play that we should showed yesterday with his yeah. 1v1 over Phoenix. And uh, Adam, 